What's up guys? Brett here, back today playing some more StarCraft 2. Hopefully you guys liked the first episode, because we are pushing forward into Mission 3 here, Zero Hour. I'm going to go ahead and replay the adjutant message. That way, those of you perhaps don't remember what was happening at the end of the last episode, you'll know what we're doing now. 55,000 credits on the line, hold out until extraction. With the artifact secure, you need to wait for transport at Backwater Station before you can leave Marsara. Transportation is on the way. Caution is advised. Dominion security forces may succeed in tracking the artifact to the station. Got it. Launch it. Make it happen. I've got transport coming to pick us up. All we gotta do is sit tight. Don't sound too hard. I figure we earned ourselves a little R&R. &R. Commander, I'm detecting a massive concentration of Zerg biosignatures <laughs> landing at the abandoned dig site. Yep. I should have known it. Damn you, Tychus. I swear, man, I didn't know nothing about no Zerg. Given their current course, the Zerg will overrun this location within the hour. Hell. We gotta hold out long enough for extraction. If we man the bunkers and hold those two bridges as long as we can, we just might stand a chance. Huh. We're gonna have a real fight on our hands here. I've been in plenty of holdouts before. Not against the Zerg, you ain't. Oh yeah, so we get to fight the Zerg for the first time. And this mission, not that hard to beat on either normal or hard. But I wanted to show you guys one of the secret things on this mission. Uh, it's a cool little uh, Easter egg. Uh, but it's kind of difficult to get to on hard. Let's go ahead and get this going. Alright, we'll just start building. This better be armed and, ready. and let's get our Marines in there. You, gonna give me orders? you guys can come over here. And we're going to have to start building our defenses quickly. Let's go ahead and make these guys hot group 4. Set a rally point here, perhaps. Main thing right now, though, is SCVs. We need as many SCVs as we can get. I think there's some, like... Yeah, That's it's a little fine. sketchy. Let's go see. We'll do. We can do this quickly. Gangway, coming through. Let's get some uh, attack upgrades going. We could use some help here. Want a piece of me, I set them to uh, attack move. Our first hydralis kill. Alright, let's get back. Was that worth it? Hard to know. All the SCVs, guys. We need them built ASAP. We hear you. Here they come. Lock and load. Overtime. By the number. SCV ready. Let's put a couple of these guys over here and a couple over here. I don't remember if they attack from multiple locations yet. What's going on? Make sure we have some SCVs repairing. Alright, and we are going to Go ahead. build some more bunkers. Because that's what the mission calls for. To anyone hearing this message, we're pinned down near Backwater Station. Please assist. It's these guys over here. We're going to go get them in just a bit. This, better be good. this is probably enough guys to go do it right now. Well, we get that built as well. Add on complete. And let's build another missile turret there because they're going to start sending some Utilis against us before you know it. This better be good. Uh, still got me. Let's go rescue those. Dudes. Insufficient best beam gaps, not enough minerals. Add on complete. Thought we were gunners there. All right. You go repair. Additional supply depots required. Yep. Let's get that done. In the rear with and the let's gear. start spamming out supply depots. Upgrade complete. Not enough minerals. It's not good that I let myself be supply blocked. That's for sure. 
multiple air bogies detected. ETA, right the, the hell, hell now. now. <laughs> Still remember that. Get some SCVs repairing those bunkers. If they don't start repairing, the fire starts to burn it down and destroys it. This better be good. Bad news. And we're gonna need more bunkers than we currently have. So here we go. Mutilus getting intercepted right. I'm going. Right as they come through. Yep. SCV ready. I think this is enough to hold them. But it's hard to say. What we really need is a hell of a lot more Marines. And way more SCVs. Can't afford to have too many of those guys just sitting around not doing anything. Get you over here. One SCV at each location ready to heal. Not enough minerals. Not We're enough almost minerals. at like a really good like sustainable point. You gonna give me where we're going to be making enough that we can kind of spam out units as we desire. We're not quite there yet. SCV ready. And I will need someone who's basically dedicated yep. to making Yo. lots and lots of supply depots. Prioritize your SCVs in the SCV beginning. Ready. And it'll pay you dividends in the long run on these missions. Because we now are in a spot where we kind of have to build an entire army. From the beginning. That way we can push out to these guys. Yeah, we're going to go get them as soon as we can. Keep them coming. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to unload. By the numbers, boys. I don't think I need three quite yet. And, and this will give me enough of a force me, to go and rescue those guys after this attack. Because we are about to be attacked. Tell them the whole position. Let's get a couple of medics. And I think now we're safe. We can push forward and go rescue those guys. Bad news. Go, go, go! Move it! Little trick here, we're gonna make a wall. Man, a to make sure they can't get to Hold us. Alright, saved them. So the secret, guys, is way up here. Past a Zerg base, which we would have to destroy. The numbers, boy. There's actually a, an achievement on this map. To destroy the uh, the Zerg bases, which can be done, but you got to build quickly. All right, let's Upgrade lower this. Complete. Our Marines are now fully upgraded. Our bunkers are fully loaded, and every unit we recruit at this point on is expendable. Or that's that's not a good way to say that, but they can be used to fight. We can send them out to go and be more proactive. We see them they're coming up from the uh, the other side here. This is not a great spot for him, but at least he's got a medic. Looks like we might need more than one SCV. Use a few more workers. By the numbers, boys. They're destroying everything. Gangway, coming. Very straightforward mission once you've kind of got all the uh, the basics under control. A couple more supply depots. And if I ever have to fall back, I can. Not enough minerals. And that's the last SCV that we need. I might just build one more. That way I can put two SCVs yes, onto healing. This better be good. SCV ready. Yeah, more mutilists coming in. Who wants some? 
their attacks will bounce. But they get chewed up pretty well by Marines. So what I'm going to do is, because guys, just like in my Warcraft campaign, whenever I go to show you something that's not necessarily good for my strategy for winning the map, uh, but is just kind of cool for showcasing something that's secret, I might save the game ahead of time, that way we don't actually just like throw the mission completely. Keep at it, boys. The ride's on its way. We've got less than 10 minutes. After the next attack, I think I'm going to push out, because this is quite a lot of Marines. We're just going to kind of patiently wait here. But there's tons of stuff buried in the creep. This kind of black tar-looking mass. But three bunkers is, I think, enough to, uh... To hold each position. As long as you have SCVs to heal. It's a lot of stuff, though. And they have roaches, who are great at tanking. A little bit of extra support. We need immediate support. Hostiles all around us. All right, y'all. Let's go. Let's go save them. They've got their defensive buildings. These spine crawlers. Very good at killing Marines. Let's make sure we're constantly pumping them out. We can kill their creep tumors. That will make it so that it's okay. All right, all right, all right. I don't want to push into these bases. It's dangerous business, and there's not much in it for me. All right, we rescued all the rebels. Make sure we're constantly producing. Okay. That's, I mean, is this enough? I don't know. I know we can make a big dent in them, but I don't know if we can actually, like, take this base. We're getting kills, that's for sure. Okay. Kill what we can kill. That's fine. We can when their buildings them. die, they spawn units. Let's make sure we're focusing down buildings. Alright, let's go take them on these. I don't remember exactly where the... the ah, I think it's right here. We're almost there. Oh no, we're losing units as they run to the other this side. That's no good. Let's take this base out. No reason to leave them with like a means of production. Take out their greater spire. Base is on all right, let's go get that secret while the secret's still good. Are you gonna give me others? T minus three, a Tauran space marine. That's basically ETC. Get out of here. <laughs> and that's it, guys. That's the only secret I know. But I think it's a pretty funny one. Got it. Let's get back to base. Orders received. Still making marines. We can push out and kill another base, I think. Go, go, go. Back up, guys. We could use some help here. Uh, Clear this path. Keep on producing. Base is under attack. Alright, we're still good. With this type of army, we could push out and maybe take this other base. We still have five minutes. Hold out just a little longer. We'll be getting out of here soon. Get a couple more resources. Oh god. Oh 
Okay, back up, back up. I think we could still crack this, but man, look what we lost. Mineral field depleted. Ooh, we de we're depleting some of our mineral fields. Back up so we're not getting attacked by the defensive structures. We could use some help here. And while we certainly have lost a lot, we can still take out one of these bases. Like I said, there's an achievement for taking out a certain number of bases. I just don't remember what it is. Come on, guys, back up. We got it. Wow, I can't believe I didn't have that one already, but that's cool. And we did it with minutes left to spare. Jesus. Maybe we're better at this game than I thought. Yo, gangway. May as well set these dudes to attacking. Or to building, rather. You gonna give me orders? This Need you to come over here and repair. But yeah, that was it. <laughs> We're awesome. Let's get a couple of these dudes in here. And a couple guys in here. Keep up the constant stream of Marines. And because our crystals are disappearing, we don't have as much need for as many harvesters. And we can use our SCVs, rather. My brain is going blank on, on naming. Base is under attack. And that means we can use a lot of them as extra uh, repair drones, essentially. And they're coming in hot now because it's the end of the mission. We could honestly just sit in a base and it's, I mean, we're GG now. Is under attack. We Base did it though, guys. Is under attack. Go, go, go. Well done. And this was pretty quick as well, so we may yep. do another one. Commander, this is Matt Horner. Just hold on. Cavalry's on the way. We did a great job. We found the secrets. No rush. Found the secrets and got the achievements on hard. I'm so happy we got it, too, because I feel like that was one I felt like I was never going to get. I didn't have my, like, I'm not going to say my skills, but my my knowledge of, of hotkeys and stuff when I played when it first came out. I kind of had to learn all that stuff, you know? But we're going to get this, uh, this artifact off-world in just a bit here. Lock it up. We could use some help here. Glorious battle cruiser. Cavalry's arrived. Anyone still alive down there? Good to see you, Matt. Welcome to the party. Glad we made it in time, sir. Now let's get you boys out of there. All right. Well done. That gets me. And we're introduced to Matt Horner. Another awesome character in this game. Look at this. What a great wallpaper this is. Orsara Colony, 621 local time. Damn, Jimmy, you've been holding out on me.
<laughs> Cutting it pretty close there, Matt. Never left you hanging before, sir. Fair enough. Just get us the hell out of here. All batteries, concentrate forward firepower. Spin up drives two and six. All hands brace for warp jump on my mark. Mark. What the hell happened? We ain't seen the Zerg in years. Why attack Marsara now? It's not just Marsara. You need to see this. Zerg Swarm launched a full-scale attack. Devastation spread throughout all outer rim plots. Sustained heavy losses. Casualties in the billions. Minutes ago, the Zerg attacked a Dominion military research facility. Sweet Mother Mercy. Exclusive video footage confirms the Queen of Blades is in fact leading the swarm. That spooky footage always reminds me of the movie Signs. Ugh. Okay, Hyperion Bridge. That's our ship. There's no telling what the Zerg will throw against us this time. Sir, we need to make sure our hardware and munitions are up to the challenge. Yeah, I'll check in with Swan down the armory. Knowing him, he's already got upgrades for us. I hate to ask, sir, but is there a reason that convict's still on my bridge? Easy, Matt. <laughs> Tychus is one of my oldest friends. He helped me out of a real bind a few years back. I owe him. Well, your friend has a criminal record as long as... Mine? Believe me. If Tychus Finley wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. Understood, sir. Our cast of characters grows. And we've got lots of stuff to do on the ship, which is really fun. We're going to meet a bunch of new people. Um, we're gonna start delving into upgrades. Let's just let's just knock it out right now. One hell of a ship you got here, Jimmy. How'd you get a hold of a floating palace like this? The Hyperion was Mink's flagship back in the day. Me and Matt decided to borrow her when we parted company with him. This old baby seen us through some tight spots. Speaking of tight spots, Tychus, why are you still wearing that suit on my bridge? Yeah, what'd you bust the zipper or something? <laughs> okay, so I might have had a little help when I broke out of prison. Let's just say it came at a price. I get to stay locked up in this suit till I pay off all my debts. And who's collecting those debts? Who sprung you? The Mobius boys, of course. I didn't just run into them in a museum, you know. They want them artifacts something fierce. Your debts better not bite us in the ass, Tychus. Covering for your shenanigans ain't part of the deal. All right, we already know Tigus's real damn backstory. That Minx is the one that let him go, so he's lying to us. Let's check out Matt Horner. Just how bad is it, Matt? Zerg are attacking all over the sector, sir. Minx pulled the fleet back to protect the Dominion core worlds, leaving the fringe worlds to fend for themselves. It's a nightmare. There's no way we can stop an alien invasion with one capital ship and a handful of volunteers. Best we just stay clear, partner. We can earn ourselves a fortune working for Mobius while this whole thing blows over. You don't get it, convict. This isn't gonna just blow over. The Zerg won't stop until we're all dead. Don't worry, Matt. We ain't sitting this one out. But we're not exactly in tip-top shape, either. We'll earn some cash and build up our forces so we can make a difference when it counts. That's a real plan. That's a leader plan right there. So mission archives. We can go back and, and redo stuff. If we need to. Star map will show us the next couple missions. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go talk to Swan. Hey, everybody. Our glorious leader has returned. <laughs> 
Hey, man, what's up, cowboy? What do you got for me, Swan? Uh, the usual, building up our standing forces. Bringing my troops and hardware up to speed, huh? Yep, you can add upgrades for their tech right here on the console. But building an army on the run ain't cheap. You brought back credits this time, right? Look, I know money's been tight. But that artifact we just picked up from Marsar is gonna solve everything. Yeah, I've heard that before, brother. It's different this time. Yeah, I heard that one too. <laughs> Love it. Swan's an awesome character. Um, is there anything for us to see? There isn't. Uh, let's talk to him. Upgrading what we got is all well and good, but when are we getting new hardware? A lot of gaps in our inventory right now. Sometimes we take a job with some kind of new hardware, and I get a schematic for it so we can make more of them. The plans for other stuff, we gotta either beg, borrow, or steal. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill up this garage here with all sorts of awesome units that we're gonna use throughout the campaign. And in this console is where we get upgrades for our base. Uh, we currently have 100,000 credits that we can use. So, let's see, we can start by upgrading the Marines, we can get them stem packs. They take a little bit of damage, but then they move and attack 50% faster, which is insane. Uh, especially when you pair them with medics. Um, especially once they heal faster and more efficiently, you can make your Marines like just DPS monsters. You can also give them combat shields, we can take a look here. Th this is one of the coolest things. Like, the attention to detail here is incredible. So, for 50,000 gold we get this. Simpacks provide a temporary boost to the Marine's attack and movement speeds by dosing him with a mix of adrenaline, endorphins, and aggression enhancers. This frenzied burst does come at the expense of the Marine's health. Medical treatment is highly advisable after multiple uses. We can also get him combat shields. M98 combat shields are a vital upgrade for any Marine fighting on the front line. 30 millimeters of bonded carbide may not sound like much, but field tests have shown a full 25% increase in Marine survivability when equipped with combat shields. And that is 60,000, so we can't get both. This is 105,000 for the faster heal. The Stabilizer Med Pack is a new generation of medical nanobot that heals targets more efficiently and can be injected at faster rates. Show your Marines that you truly care by outfitting your medics with Stabilizer Med Packs today. And then the other one is... What does this one do again? Oh, just, you don't require the, uh, the add-on, which I don't actually really mind, but it lets you spam out a lot of, uh, medics if you need them. So, storing med packs has traditionally required the advanced facilities of the tech lab. Remedius Medical Systems now offers a storage facility that can be housed in the barracks itself, eliminating the need for the tech lab when training and outfitting medics. Not super necessary, uh, but the base upgrades could be where it's at. We could start upgrading our bunkers. Increase the range of all units in the bunker by one. And you'll see here, that's a Void Ray. It's a powerful Protoss airship. But without this upgrade, a lot of stuff just outranges your bunkers and can destroy them. So Wolf Industries has developed a bunker port that houses a magnetic rail. This device dramatically accelerates all projectiles coming out of the port, increasing the range of all weapons fired from the bunker. And then Neo Steel Bunker gives you two extra slots inside of, side of the bunker. So instead of four Marines, you get six. It says this bunker uses a high-density neo-steel frame, leaving more room inside for additional infantry without increasing the overall bunker footprint. While ordinary bunkers can hold a maximum of four infantry, neo-steel bunkers can house up to six infantry in fortified comfort. We're going to wait on getting these upgrades uh, until after I go back to, let's see, let's go back to the bridge. Let's talk to... Uh, sir, any chance you'll get the lab up and running soon? That'd be great. He's the guy who's going to be in charge of our lab. We'll be introduced to him whenever that... That happens. But first, let's take a look at a star map. general status, Matt? We've picked up a distress call from the planet Agria. There's a colony there under attack by the Zerg. Your convict buddy Tychus lined up a mission retrieving another artifact. It's on a Protoss shrine world called Monolith. Alright, so these are our two mission options. They're not mutually exclusive. The Zerg are invading Agria. The Dominion abandoned us here. We're just a small farming colony. We've got to evacuate before we're overrun. If you can hear this message, please help us. So we definitely want to go and save them. That'll unlock fire bats. It'll start giving us some research that we'll use in our lab. And let's see. Then we've also got the, the monolith. The boys think there's another artifact in a world called Monolith. Supposedly there's Protoss got in it. A group of fanatics call themselves the Tal Dareem. Now don't get all sentimental thinking these Tal Dareem are your old Protoss buddies. 
because they ain't. Yeah, so we're going to fight some different type of Protoss on this map. I think normally I start with Monolith first, um, because you can pretty much just use Marines and Marauders to get through it. Uh, whereas, if you go to Agria, it's nice to also have the Marauders that you're going to unlock, and the extra money for upgrades, because it's, it's a much harder mission than Monolith. Um, so, knowing what we're facing, and knowing what type of mission we're going into as I do, I'm going to opt to increase the strength of our Marines. I'm going to give them the, the shield. It's just a good basic upgrade. The stem packs are awesome. The stem packs are great. We're going to want to get those at some point. Uh, but just not yet. And then we can get the uh, the range of our bunkers increased by one. We'll get both of those. Alright guys. If y'all are ready, I think we'll do one more. And we'll go ahead and knock out Monolith. There it is, Jimmy. Just like Mobius said. Easy money. I don't know. There's a lot of Protoss down there. We're gonna have to... What the? Warning. Multiple Zerg biosignatures detected. Ah, oh, hell. Them critters were just hiding underground, waiting? No idea, but you can bet they're headed straight for our shrine. Well, that show complicates things. We can't fight two armies at once, partner. With any luck, we won't have to. We only need to hold the area at the top of the shrine long enough to extract the artifact. So we'll land here and cut our way through the Protoss lines while they're busy with the Zerg. It's only a matter of time before the Zerg overwhelm the Protoss. We'd best grab the artifact and be long gone by then. And that's it. We're going to basically beat the Zerg to it. Love Marauders. They're one of my favorite units in all of the Terran arsenal. Anti-armor infantry, basically. Let's go ahead and set our hot groups here. Who wants some? This is some uh, bonus objective stuff that we can do in a little bit. Let's go ahead and discover that. Go, go, go. Not enough minerals. We got one the Protoss research. The Protoss forces. It is likely the Protoss will fall shortly. Well, here's the plan. And we've got to get that artifact before the Zerg overrun the whole place. Is it critical? Warning. Proton stalkers are gathering at our perimeter. Yeah. Not enough minerals. We're gonna make a bunker. Transmission. I got something new for you, cowboy. Marauders. The latest word in Big Bada Boom Hardware. I ain't sure this is the best time to be experimenting, Swan. Best time there is. Let the marauders loose against those stalkers and you'll see. Hell yeah. Gotta make sure we're making SCVs though. But they're gonna crush the stalkers. With just a little bit of medical help. There we go. There we go. And our bunkers are strong. Now, a marauder takes two spaces in a bunker. So we'll do something like that. I want to make sure I leave enough space to walk around. Not enough minerals. And we need to. Oh, okay. What's going on? We're gonna get supply blocked if I'm not careful. Not enough minerals. I did not mean to take two of you guys off of your work. SCB ready. Ben, go ahead. Ah, you're scared. Keep on building. Don't leave me. And this is more than enough to hold our base. Now every unit we make after that What's going on? we're gonna send out to go and get our objectives done. SCV ready. Not enough minerals. You need to constantly be making SCVs. Huh? And also building Not more supply minerals. depots. I'm going. SCV ready. There we go. Armed and ready. We're gonna want to build another bunker pretty soon, also. What's Our mineral on? fields got about eighteen hundred apiece on them. SCV ready. 
See how quickly we already got close to our supply cap? Warning. Incoming Zerg attack wave detected. Yep. Bad news. I'm ready. SCV ready. Big job, huh? Easily repelled. I'm go. SCV ready. And we're just waiting, guys. We're getting it done. Look how cool our Marines look with their shields. They look awesome. So what we can do is unload these dudes, because we probably don't really need them as of right now. SCV ready. And with that, we've got a little bit of a force. We can start pushing out, save some time. SCV ready. There's some really great upgrades that we can get for the Marauders. Giving them slowing attacks. How far away can I hit this from? So for those of you who've never seen this before, when you fight the Protoss, if you destroy their pylons, their buildings stop working. So we'll bait them back a bit. We want to build more Marauders for sure. We could basically only build Marauders, I think. I don't know how much... Protoss don't really use air on this map. This better be good. God dang it, don't get too close. Why not? Sure. Roger that. SCV ready. It's about to get heavy. Let's get a couple of those. SCV ready. And it's definitely time now that we've got our production underway for us to get another barracks. Go ahead and add that to the hot group. So we're going to have to push backwards to get this relic here. Alright, and that's all the SCVs that we need. This better be good. And Protoss buildings have shields with regenerate. If you let them. You gonna get the orders? SCV ready. It may look like maybe we're moving a little slow, but I think we're doing just fine. So let's go ahead and queue up so we don't have to sit here watching. Yeah, yeah. Not enough minerals. SCV ready. A couple extra buildings. Let's just build another tech lab to make sure I can get the units that I want. Destroy this. SCV ready. Sure. They've got sentries that can kind of bar our path. Add on complete. It's about to get SCV ready. Yeah. And they can make barriers that we can't cross. Wow, that sucks. Outstanding. Those photon cannons are pretty brutal. So are the sentries. I'm just trying to make sure right now that we don't have as much dead time as it feels like we do. I want to make sure that we're constantly producing. Go on. Who wants some? Okay. That's fine. Come over here and get this. Push forward, push forward. Destroy this. We're going to lose quite a bit. You gonna give me orders? All right, let's get our second Protoss research. And now we're going to head backwards here. And we're going to go try and get this one. You know what, let's stick you guys in there. I might even just want to make a third barracks. Roger. Armed and ready. You gonna 
give me orders. Boom, baby. No, a bane link. Oh, man. Well, that sucked. I didn't expect for my marines or whatever to pull. Well, that's awful. Huh. You go in there. Let's make a bunch of marines now. I think we've got enough marauders. I also really... I should have made this already. It's our engineering bay. It's where our upgrades are. I'm going to have to get back in the swing of things. But that's a pretty big rookie mistake not to have our uh, upgrades running. They could all be done by now. We could be at plus one, plus one. Gangway, coming through. All right. A little bit of a force up there. You guys are going to make two units simultaneously. All right, let's get to the top of this hill. Very good at destroying buildings as opposed to the Marines. But the force here wasn't all that bad. And if we were playing on normal, this would have been quite the easy little uh, series of kills. Send you to go get this. But look how far the, uh, the Zerg have already gotten. All right, only one left. I'm on it. All right, this one oh, barracks is just going to produce a crap ton of Marines for us. Get our upgrades going. Let's make sure that while I'm spamming out constantly, I don't get supply blocked. This better be good. By the numbers, boys. Could probably use a few more marauders. Been waiting on you. You want a piece of me, boy? Base is under attack. Go ahead. I'm in a world of hurt. You know what? Let's get an extra SCV just for healing. Armed and ready. Or repairing, rather. This better be good. Been waiting on you. Okay, pretty dangerous high ground. Let's wait for a few more units, perhaps. Let's set our rally point to here. By the numbers, boys. We're doing it, guys. This better be good. Big job, huh? Yep. I don't think we have tier two upgrades in this mission. Oh, it's all right. I think we've got enough to push up. Let's go. Sure. And what these annoying dudes are doing is giving them a uh, range protection whenever they they make that bubble. Gotta focus. We'll do. The doctor is in. This better be good. Uh, Once all the defensive structures go, it's pretty much child's play. The final artifact, I think, is over here. Upgrade. Down goes their base. Got it. This better be good. Let's send this guy over here to get it. Been waiting on you. Time to waste. And there we go. We got all the research. Which is gonna help us whenever we go to do our upgrades. Oh, it's on. You want a piece of me, boy? Here. 
This is rough. We're getting uh picked off by Mutilus. I should have built like one of these. Go time. What's going on? You can go back. It's about to get heavy. I'm in a world of hurt. Big job. SCV ready. All right. Sure. Let's get it. We're pretty much done now. Just gotta wait for uh, these shields to the to, to dissipate, and then we've got a bit of a boss battle here. Why not? Why the numbers, boy? As we unlock the Zelnaga artifact. What the? Stone Zealots. There's an achievement for killing them without losing a single unit. I think the only way to do that is to bring uh, nothing but marauders and medics. Got what we came for. Let's hightail it out of here. I forgot how resourceful you were, Jim. I won't make that mistake twice. Kerrigan. Yep. Complete on smash and grab on hard in less than 15 minutes. Got it. Without losing a single unit to a Protoss Stone Guardian. Thankfully, we've got that one already as well. And yeah, Queen of Blades popped up. Kerrigan. She used to be our lover, I guess. giving you access to our database. Just keeping up on current events, Captain. Seems this Queen of Blades got everybody running scared. <laughs> she don't look so tough. You have no idea who she is, do you, Tychus? Don't matter to me none. It matters to Jim. They were close once. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're telling me they were shacked up? Apparently she was something else. Before the Zerg took her. Turned her into that. And Jimmy feels responsible. Honestly? If we have to face her again? I don't know what he'll do. Woman like that. There's only one thing to do. Cold-blooded. But yeah, that was the picture we saw in the cantina in the last episode. The red-haired woman who was a ghost. Kind of like a special operations woman. Pretty awesome. Big character in the, uh... I caught Tychus First hacking games. into our database, sniffing around about Kerrigan. I don't know what his game is, but we clearly can't trust him. Matt, me and Tychus ran together a long time. Got in all sorts of trouble. When the law finally caught up, he took the rap for both of us. Never once ratted me out. I got a second chance. He got locked up. I understand your loyalty, sir, but... I owe him, Matt. Leave it be. Yes, sir. Hmm. Alright, guys. So, we're pretty much done for the day. We're going to check out all the upgrades and stuff before we go, because that's the fun part. 
Oh yeah, we get Mercs. Guess you heard the news by now, Rainer. Looks like you're back in business. That I am, Mr. Hill. And fighting the Zerg and Dominion all at once is gonna take its toll on my standing forces. You got any guns for hire? But you know the invasion makes it a seller's market right now. Still, your bartender over there makes a hell of a Mai Tai. So, sure, I've got some mercenary contracts you might be interested in. You're all heart, Mr. Hill. All right. So we've already got the war pigs. These guys are just badass marines. Super HP, awesome damage, and you can get three squads of them. So you can have 12 of these dudes. War pig mercenaries are well known for both their ruthless combat efficiency as well as their heavy drinking and barroom brawls. Their upgraded equipment and thousands of hours of combat experience make them well worth all the trouble they cause when they're off duty. We've already got those unlocked. The next ones to get would be the uh, Hammer Securities. You get two Elite Marauders, plus 25% HP, plus 20% damage. A private security firm based in the Kelmorian Combine, HSEC provides corporate security and often finds itself at odds with the Dominion. We're just going to grab them. I know I'm going to get them eventually. It might mess up our ability to get some upgrade down the line, but that's fine. And we've unlocked the Cantina. Got a random dancing AI up there. Uh, looks like a night elf. Um, we've got an arcade that we could play. We've got the mercenary guy we can check out. Just, just, right place. Let's just clear this so it doesn't keep showing that I haven't looked at it yet. Um, we've got the news we could watch. Go to the armory real quick. And look at the marauder suits. Although the Marauder suit is modified from the CMC 660 Firebat suit, the soldier inside is very different. 47% of Marauder operators have never even been to jail, <laughs> and only 23% have been accused of murder. The Marauder's grenade autoloader is stocked with component parts that allow it to quickly manufacture and load hundreds of standard Punisher grenades. That's kind of how they explain how they've never seen to run out of ammo. But they're very sweet looking. Gotta hand it to you, Chief. Stealing an artifact out from under the Zerg and the Protoss? You sure go big. Alright, and now we've got upgrades for the Marauders. We could give them their slow attacks. Pretty awesome, especially if you're going to put them in the barracks. Concussive shells actually form a gravitational warp when they detonate. This warp not only damages the target, but it also slows the movement speed of all nearby units to a crawl for a short period of time. Concussive shells make Marauders a great support unit against melee units, in addition to their traditional role of destroying armored targets. Makes them awesome against, uh... Oh yeah, giving them 25 life is also pretty sweet. But it makes them awesome against, uh, like, Zerg. The, uh, what are they called? Oh my god, my brain just went blank. Uh, the Zerglings. The little guys. Who try to close the distance really fast, but they can't do it. So we'll read this another time when we get a chance to. The upgrade that we really want to unlock is the stronger bunkers because we're going to need them for the next mission and then everything else is kind of we're just going to have to wait um sure let's go back to the cantina let's go ahead and check out this trophy jimmy i thought you'd like these they're the winning entry from a zerg hunt a few years back maybe they'll bring you luck joey ray owner proprietor of joey ray's bar p.s i'll add the tv to your tab the one we shot in the last episode. I should really take this down. Guess the crew thinks it's cool or something. Watch the news. This is Donnie Vermillion live from UNN. Tonight, we're going to discuss the infamous Queen of Blades. Scientists and military insiders have long speculated that the enigmatic alien is in fact an infested human. That's right, Donnie. Is it possible that the leader of the Zerg has a human heart? More importantly, Kate, could this mean some kind of Terran-Zerg alliance is possible? Donnie, there's never been any evidence <laughs> at all to suggest that infested humans retain <laughs> no their No one has ever will. said that. You ever. make a good point, Kate. The question is then, how do we kill her? That's one I think we all can agree on. If humanity is to survive, the Queen of Blades needs to be eliminated. Mm-hmm. 
Don't shoot at screen. Little note written down there. Your Mobius buddies ever happen to mention that the Queen of Blades wants these artifacts too? Hey, they just give me the missions, man. What's it matter anyway? Putting that bitch down would be doing everyone a favor. Whoa, I thought it was Tychus. just about the money with you, Tychus. 20, 20, 20, Nothing bro. says I can't do my part for humanity and get paid well for my trouble. Right. All right, and then the arcade, if we ever wanted to do that. Uh, we're not we're not going to do that right now, but it's pretty fun that it's something that's actually in the game. And then let's go to the bridge. So, there is an order to the missions, uh, in a way, that makes sense story-wise. I kind of, if I was doing that strictly, I definitely would have gone to the other planet first. Uh, as you can even see from, like, the upgrades and stuff we've been doing that they leave a space for the for the fire bats because you're kind of supposed to unlock the fire bats first but just my knowledge of the missions knowing what makes what easier uh having the marauders in the upcoming mission and the mercenaries is going to make uh next episode's mission a heck of a lot easier uh because it can be a tough mission on hard let's talk to horner all right sir confronting kerrigan again after all these years we've got to stop her matt no matter what she's after well we gave her a setback today. The artifacts are obviously important to her. I just wish we knew why. We have no idea why, but we will. Check the star map. So we've unlocked another mission. I hear the mighty Jim Rayner's on the move, but short on funds. The planet Redstone's got the most valuable minerals around, and with the Zerg invasion, the Kilmorians backed up and left it all behind. Some enterprising men could turn a big profit there. Meet me at Redstone if you want a piece of the action. Interesting character is Gabriel Tosh, someone we're going to get to know quite well. But before we do any of that, we're definitely going to go to Agria first. Go ahead and stop that. But that'll be for another time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Hope you continue and enjoy this series. Uh, I'm Brett. My channel is Good Talk Gaming. I never even ever remember whether or not I've said that already, so I always feel like I say it two or three times at the end of my episodes, and I feel like I never really do when I go back and check, but it always feels like it. It's like this weird deja vu thing that you only get from repeating the same phrase like a thousand times. Uh, but guys, like, subscribe, all that stuff helps me out. We have a Discord channel for the, for the channel, and if you guys would like to be a part of that, the description is in the link down below. I feel like I don't sell that enough, but there's a lot of people that use it, and they get a lot of fun out of it. And uh, hope to see you there. All right, guys, without any further ado, take care. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later, y'all.